You don't really need a good reason to gather for a chat in a hall so steeped in history. But many of Gibraltar's best-known charity workers had one. They'd been promised some rather significant donations. I think, as you know, this was the Diamond Jubilee Trust. So it was set up in the Queen's Diamond Jubilee year two years ago um, throughout the Commonwealth uh, and, and UK. And so this was the Gibraltar element of it. And this was uh, collecting money to, to then be um, distributed to uh, charities. Uh, and there was a committee that decided how to distribute the money, um, led by uh, Minister Stephen Linares. And today we were handing out the, the cheques from the, the very generous donations, £60,000 in all. Uh, and I should mention that 40% of that, £25,000, came uh, from a single uh, donor, and that was uh, Lombard Odeon. Very local charities where we will see the value of the charitable work that has been done. I think Lombard Odeon have done a fantastic job in giving such a huge part of the fund, and also by starting the fund off with their contribution, really ensuring that others wanted to join and give even more. And peace building in the environment. As patron of the fund, the governor gave out cheques to representatives of the 16 chosen charities during a short ceremony at the convent this morning. Uh, the Vine Trust. Yes. The Vine Trust, you may know, runs two medical ships on the Amazon River. And there's one on the way there, on the way to Lake Victoria now, that was um, fitted out in Jibdok last year, the Jubilee Hope. And the money is uh, earmarked really to, to sponsor people from Gibraltar who want to go either to Tanzania or to Peru to support those, those missions. This money is going to help a lot of people in Gibraltar, all the visually impaired in Gibraltar, uh, mainly with um, gadgets or um, any facility they might need. The main money has been targeted to be used on latrines for one of the schools and also the building of a water well. Two sort of ba very basic items that are needed uh, in the schools. Um, other monies that we've got in our charity will be used to actually refurbish the schools. But this particular money that's been kindly given to us will be used on those two items. And these are schools in? Sierra Leone. Uh, this money will obviously be spent totally on the uh, residents of Mount Alvernia. Uh, we've got a whole lot of projects going on at this moment in time. We will need a committee meeting to sort out specifically where it's going, but it's definitely all going towards the, the residents up in Mount Alvernia, Brilliant. buying equipment for them for their well-being and having a good time. These funds are going to be supporting our cancer support clinic. Uh, that we, ha we run at the centre uh, twice a week. Uh, pa people who have cancer who need support through doing their chemotherapy, their treatment, or sometimes afterwards because they have um, you know, problems afterwards. And also their loved ones, their families, are welcome to come to the centre and uh, they can uh, access the cancer support clinics run by our cancer nurses. This money that has been given to us today will go towards the daycare centre, which hopefully will be completed at the end of this year. Um, this will make a big difference to many families who are living, living with dementia, not just for the patients, but also for the families. And in recognition, one of the rooms at the daycare centre will be named the Diamond Jubilee Trust Room. So on behalf of the Gibraltar Alzheimer's and dementia, and also on all those families who are going to benefit from this uh, generous donation, it's a big thank you. Well, of course, for, for us at Gibraltar, we're very proud of the link with Her Majesty and having done so many things as we did for the Diamond Jubilee, to have also had a charitable aspect, I think, was one of the most important aspects of demonstrating what it is that Gibraltar does best, and that is selflessly give in charity to those that need. This predates me here, but I think the committee did a good job of trying to look right across the field of, of good causes, and there are many of them, of course, uh, in Gibraltar. And people are, are extremely generous, as I've discovered in my now nearly six months here in Gibraltar. Uh, and so this is just an example of that, uh, of that generosity. The faces of the 16 organisations benefiting from an impressive £60,000 of donations made today by the Diamond Jubilee Trust Fund, aided in no small part, of course, by Lombard Odier's £25,000 gift.